Hey there and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace and today's tutorial is straight up wackadoodle. We're going to show you to automatically adjust facial features like making your eyes larger or smaller and even adjusting happiness. I think you're beautiful just the way you are. I just want to show you how to use these tools just in case you're curious or maybe you have a client who asks you to make some of these requests. So the first thing we're gonna do is duplicate our background layer. Let's hit Control or Command J to do that. And I'm gonna call this Liquify. Now, if you've been a Photoshop user for a while, you know that the Liquify tool allows you to push and pull pixels. You can get to it by going to Filter and then down to Liquify. Now, traditionally, basically you just had this little smudge tool which allowed you to kind of push and pull things around manually. So let's say you made, maybe wanted to make someone's eyes farther apart. You could just kind of grab them and pull them and do something like that. Now, let's hit undo a couple times. You can actually go right into a person's face and here on the right hand side, we now have face aware liquify, which allows us to simply make these adjustments with sliders. Let's go ahead and link the left and the right eyes. There we go. And here you can see I can do things like change the eye size. Now I'm going very extreme here to kind of show you what you can do. Obviously in a real situation, you wouldn't want to go anywhere near ex as extreme as what I'm doing, but you can see it does a really nice job adjusting your subject's face. I can make the eyes closer and further apart. We can adjust the nose height as well as the width here. And we can even make our subject smile and frown with a slider, which is absolutely insane. You can see I can adjust the size of the lips. That's a very popular effect, both in real life and digitally these days. Let's go ahead and hit reset. Of course, this is a lot of fun, but I recommend keeping things nice and subtle. So maybe like a tiny bit larger with the eyes, maybe a little bit larger, and there we go. Maybe you could go with the upper lip like a little bit larger here, and if you wanted to do the, uh, there we go, the overall mouth, you could do that as well. Now, of course, you're welcome to do whatever you'd like. I just like to keep things subtle. Now, we can also adjust things like our forehead height, which is absolutely insane. By the way, I would always recommend checking with the person you're gonna do this with. You don't wanna just like go messing with a person's face and then send it to them and be like, hey, look, I fixed your face. That's a really quick way to lose a friend. You can see I actually have these little areas that I can hover over. Let's zoom in a little bit more so you can hover over and actually like push and pull if that works a little bit better for you. It's a little bit more visual. You can actually just like click and drag and move these items around. Let's go ahead and hit okay here and we can see I can just turn this layer off and on and there we go, a nice subtle effect. Now we actually have one more tool that's built into Photoshop as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate my background once again. We're gonna bring that to the top and call that neural filters. Now these filters are incredibly cool because they use artificial intelligence and actually combine different images from the web, process all your information in the cloud and then send it back to your computer. One little caveat, because this is processed in the cloud, you have to be connected to the internet in order for this to work. So we're gonna go ahead, let's bring our image here. We're gonna go to filter and then down to neural filters. There we go, brand new in Photoshop. If you haven't updated your version of Photoshop, be sure to do so because this is actually brand new. It's in beta right now. We're gonna turn this on and then it's gonna automatically adjust, uh, recognize your face. Let's turn on happiness and I'm gonna increase our happiness. Now, when I do that, you're gonna see right up here, we see it's loading. What it's actually doing is sending this information to the cloud in real time. It's processing it on the web, and then it's gonna send us back our result. And without me doing anything, I'm not gonna to touch anything at all, uh, our subject's happiness level is going to change in just a second. Look at that, it did it while we were waiting. <gasps> Really, really cool. Now I'm gonna go ahead and unclick this so we can see the before and let's go ahead and turn some of these others on. We're gonna speed them up so you don't have to wait for them. Let's check out our surprise. We're gonna go ahead and bring that way up here. We've got a lot of surprise and let's go ahead and bring it down to reduce our surprise and go right back to our original. We actually have an anger slider as well. So let's see what it looks like when our subject is angry. It kind of works. She really does look angry. Let's make her a little bit less angry. I know there's a weird ethical thing and I like kind of feel weird about doing this to be honest, especially to another person. I'm like, if it's me, it's fine, but ooh, it's kind of creepy. You can adjust things like the gaze. This is actually pretty helpful. Um, I can make my subject look more to the right or more to the left by simply sliding this slider. Isn't that insane? It's actually taking other people's eyes from the internet and putting them into this photo. 
You can even change the light direction. I'm gonna bring this a little bit more to the right-hand side, which is gonna put a highlight on the right-hand side of my subject. And there you can see it added it automatically. And of course, you can combine these. So for this one, I recommend things nice and simple. We're just gonna go with a little bit of happiness. We'll do six. We'll, we'll give her a happiness level of six in this case. Too funny. And here in the bottom, I do like this, how you can output this to a bunch of different layers if you'd like. Um, I'm just gonna put this as a current layer because I already created a new layer and named it. So let's go ahead and hit okay there and see what we get. This is our happiness. Okay, we've adjusted our happiness. You can see it really changed my, the entire subject's face. Again, do we got a little bit of work to do? Yes, it's not perfect just yet, but the fact that it's even there is pretty astonishing. And then here are the effects with our liquify tool. I kept them very nice and subtle, just making our subject's eyes a little bit bigger. And of course you could use these in combination if you'd like. As you can see, these tools are incredibly powerful and also raise a bunch of questions on like what is right and wrong to do to a person's photo. I would love to know your thoughts, not only about the ethics of this, but also in terms of AI, artificial intelligence. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you wanna get more free tutorials from us every single week, hit that subscribe button, we'll send them right to you. Thanks again, and I'll learn you later. Bye everyone.